Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all okay. Um, so I'm really sorry I didn't get to post this video on Tuesday, like I tried to, but like I mentioned in my community post, there's a lot that is happening for me at the moment. It's actually a very huge um, dilemma, actually, a big transition that I am most likely going to have to face. Um, and it's been affecting me on a financial level, on a practical level, as well as an emotional level, um, energy-wise, time-wise, just in every in every single aspect. So that is why I was not able to post sooner, but I am here today. And I will try to get the next one out, um, which will be for karmic situations, um, possibly on Wednesday of next week. So prob most likely, yeah, not on Tuesday, but probably on Wednesday or Thursday of next week. And I'm also trying to get the Zodiac videos out for those of you who do watch those as well. So with all of that said, today's reading is just going to be for the collective of Divine Soulmate Connections. Could be Twin Flames, Twin Souls. We're going to be looking at both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine energies, okay? So keep in mind it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And yeah, if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. But feel free to email me if you have any any questions concerning those. All right, so let's see what is going on with the masculines currently. Just anything we need to know. All right, I have the deceit. All right, let me get a few more. This could be just about anything. It could be that they are in the process of, um, that they are being deceived by somebody in their lives. It could be that they are deceiving their own self. It could be that they are deceiving the feminine in some way. I'm not necessarily getting a very negative vibe off of this one right now. Um, I feel like it's more of a deception when it comes to expressing their emotions. And I feel like there is a reason for that. So let's see what else we get. So we have guide, offer, and victim. All right, so the masculines, <clears throat> this is them feeling like they are, they're being, they're being guided to come forward to their feminine at this point in time, all right? They're having a very strong push by the universe, by their higher self, to make an offer. Whether that be just to communicate, whether it be to just, you know, ask you out on a date, whether it be um, to just express themselves emotionally, it, this offer could be anything. But they are deceiving, that's where the deception comes in, is that they're not acting on it. It's like they're restraining their own self, and that's why we have victim. Keeping their own selves victim at the moment, holding back from doing that. Um, so we'll see what's going on here because I feel like, I mean, this could be a different group than previous readings for sure, but even if previous readings resonated for you, this could still be what is happening in your situation, okay? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I think you will be able to know once we get a little deeper into the reading. So let's actually get some tarot for this and see what is going on. Why is the masculine holding back here? It's kind of like, you know, just the way it's coming in, it's like wanting to pick up the phone, wanting to text you or wanting to speak something, all right? Because some of you are in contact, you are in communication, but it's like they're tying a rope around their hands to keep themselves from grabbing that phone, um, from sending that text or from vocalizing something that they are feeling, something that they are wanting to say. So let's see, what is going on here with the masculine?
All right, so we have the Three of Swords. We have the Eight of Swords, which did come out in reverse, um, but I'm feeling guided to just take everything upright for now. All right, but keeping in mind that this was in reverse, and we also have Justice. Who? okay, so for this masculine overall, just in general, there's a lot of pain that they're going through. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of heartbreak, even, and I feel like this is, actually this is specific to, to their feminine. They're feeling a quenching pain in their heart, even though they are the ones holding back. And it's going to be for different reasons for each of them. So I'll try to get as much details as I can, but it, because it is general, it, it just can't be that specific. All right. So... There's a lot of fear here. This is part of the reason why they're holding back, all right? Because we have the state of swords, we have the victim. Like I said, it was in reverse when it first um, landed. So this is them trying to come out of that, wanting to find a solution, not wanting to do that, that victim mentality thing that they've been doing, wanting to make that right, wanting to come out of that, all right, with justice being here. I feel like they're also, what's happening here is that they're feeling very stuck and feeling a lot of pain and like there's no way out, like they've trapped themselves when it comes to certain things that they have done in the past, certain decisions that they have made, whether it be directly towards the feminine or just overall, but in some way it does affect the connection with the feminine. So it could be just other, other decisions that have been made that have affected this and this is causing them to feel a sense of of being trapped there's a lot of there's a lot of thinking here a lot of overanalyzing but then at the same time because there's so much overanalyzing it's like they're having a hard time really making sense out of anything and coming to some kind of a rational conclusion um, in order to take some action out of this Okay, so that's one thing that's coming through. There is, though, this underlying push or sense from within. I feel like that's more of their subconscious trying to bring them into a state of balance, which is letting them know that this can be corrected that they don't need to stay in this in this energy of pain. But it's kind of like they feel like they have been in this for so long that it's hard to come out of it. Like, how do I come out of it now? And this is where that deceit comes in. Deceiving their own higher self or their own subconscious mind, pushing them towards that justice. And it's like they're just taking all of that information and they're mixing it up with their mind and the irrational and erratic thoughts that they're having and that's what's keeping them in this situation i do feel like this is temporary i do feel like this is um for a lot of you you know maybe things were different a couple weeks ago and this is just something that is happening now like maybe maybe there has been an argument if you have been in contact and this is how they're just reacting to a particular argument or some kind of a disagreement or um, just anything, anything that may have happened. Let's see what else. Actually, you know what? I'm actually, let's go back and forth between masculine and feminine. I think this might make a little more sense that way. So let's get a couple of oracle cards for the feminines. All right, we have Healer of the Ages. All right, so a lot of healing for the feminines. Let's see what this is about. All right, we have Material World. We have Shadow Work. And we have soulmate. 
Okay, so the feminine is, um, I feel like you're focused you're focused on really improving your your environment or your your job, your career, um, your life mission, or what it is that you want to do in the material world. Okay, there's something here where, or for some of you, it could even be your health. Maybe some of you are really focused on your health. But what I do like about this combination here is that we have both material world as well as shadow work. So I feel like you are kind of um, combining um, there's like this balance where you're combining both your material world as well as your spiritual side and kind of balancing both and healing both of these areas. Um, for some of you, this is also that you have been, you have been trying to heal your masculine in some way. And the message here is, is that because you are connected, all right, this is for divine soulmates, the more that you are healing your own self, both spiritually, doing your own shadow work, as well as your actual environment in the 3D, like even, even when it comes to pleasure, like having pleasure in your life, um, anything, anything that needs to be tweaked, anything that needs to be resolved, not letting things just, you know, um, go on autopilot. No, like actually taking control of your material world and, and putting things in order. All of that is also in one way, in some way, helping your masculine. I'm also getting here that the more that you actually work on your own self, and what, what does that even mean, okay, with the shadow work here? Um, the more that you are able to strip out your ego and how do you do that you do that by actually recognizing it being self-aware and being open to seeing truths about your own self like being able to admit to yourself that yeah you know um something that that you might have done that was because i was a little bit jealous admitting that to yourself and accepting it and not judging yourself for it Accepting that, you know what, that's okay, that I felt that way. I can excuse myself. I am justified for feeling that way. But I recognize it, and I know that in the future that might not be the healthiest energy for me to be in. And then moving along. And of course, there are like a billion examples, okay? This is just the <laughs> what came to the top of my head. So the more you do that the more that it is actually helping your material world. It's helping things in the 3D to fall into place for you. And I feel like a lot of the shadow work is related to your Divine Masculine. That's why we have the Soulmate card here. So the more that you can realize things within yourself, Recognize that ego, accept it, forgive yourself, then it can be released. I feel like I could go on and on. I'm just getting like so, I feel like I'm getting like so many messages for this. Um, for a lot of you, there are a lot of things that we oftentimes blame the masculine for. And you could be right, all right? You are right. The masculine treated you wrong. Um, or the masculine is not doing what is in their highest good. But I feel like what you are being called here to think about is, right, but there are things that maybe you have said, you have done, or gone about um, in a particular way 
where even though you had every right, and I'm not saying to judge yourself, but it's almost like it would help for you to either almost like, you know, understand that you could actually ask for forgiveness. And I'm not saying that in a preachy way at all. This is the message that's coming through. It's just really hard for me to express it. Um, and I'm not saying to literally ask your masculine for forgiveness for something that you are right about. But for example, even little things like, um, maybe wanting them to be jealous, for example, all right? Um, or maybe having said certain things in order to get the masculine to um, make a specific decision or to influence them, all right? Even little things like that, even if you have, even if you were right, you can, really find it within yourself to understand why to feel that need for you know what I didn't need to do that it's okay that I did I forgive myself but but I'm sorry for doing that and again you don't need to say this to the masculine you can if you want but that's not the point of this you can just ask for that forgiveness from your masculine's higher self. And I know a lot of you might not agree. You don't have to take that if it doesn't resonate with you. That is fine. I am telling you the message that I'm getting right now. And I've gotten a similar download um, recently actually, and I wanted to make a separate video about it and I didn't because it is a bit of a, um, it's an interesting concept. It's an interesting concept. Um, I feel like once I organize it a little bit better, I might I might do that. I have given an exercise to a couple of my um, clients for in their personal readings for this exercise. It's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. And it does take a lot of um, ego removal, I think, to actually be able to make it work. But it can help you on your path so, so much. And it can help to clear the energy between between yourself and your masculine. Even if you're, even if, you know, even if you're feeling like, well, you know, um, the, the this is done, like we're never going to be together. It doesn't matter. You can still clear that connection. You can still clear the connection for you. So, uh, wow. <laughs> All right. It, for those of you still watching, thank you. Um, if you'd like to hear more about that, about this whole um, forgiveness, and it's not just forgiveness, it's also, um, thanking thanking and, and um showing gratitude for what you have learned and for whatever has happened okay so it's actually a combination of these two things forgiveness and gratitude so if you are interested in hearing more about that please let me know in the comments um and i will try to make a video on that all right and if not it's okay it's okay. You know, maybe it's just not something that resonates with you at this particular time. All right. So, feminines. All right. So we have the Ten of Wands. Well, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Wands the Seven of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. All right, Femmies. Let's see what is going on with you here, because that was a, a pretty big message there that came through for you. Um, I feel like you, you have... Um, gone through a bit of a roller coaster recently and it feels like at the moment you feel like you might be back 
you feel like you might be back to a previous type of an energy here. Um, like back to possibly waiting, waiting to see what's going to happen. And I feel like this is actually making you feel a little overwhelmed, a little bit burdened. Like, why am I still waiting for this? Like, I thought I was done. I thought I had moved on or I thought I had found balance. And that's just what happens. All right. This, this is meant to keep happening because... It, it'll keep happening and every like in the beginning every time that this happens like it, it's it's worse and worse it just builds up and then there's a peak and then it's still happening but it then it begins to to resolve so it begins to lessen so every time it's a little bit easier when you feel like you're back to feeling like you are waiting and I feel like this confuses you right because like I said, you know, you felt like you were you were done, you, you were moving on. Um, I also have the Emperor sticking out here. Um, and here's the thing, it's that you're coming to this realization that, you know what, it's because I, I have unconditional love for this person. All right, this is going to be for some of you. For others of you, maybe maybe you, you don't want to accept that. That's okay too. Um, but I feel like that's what the message is, is here, okay, for this group, is that there is unconditional love. And it can be confusing because, yes, you have this unconditional love, you want the masculine to be in your life, but at the same time, you don't want to be waiting, and you don't want to have to deal with this. So it's like, but how can you not, if you feel like, if you feel like this is what is meant for you, and you feel this soulmate connection and the other message i'm getting here is that you know you you totally have control over your own life and that is what matters and i feel like that is something that you are learning through this is how to release control where it needs to be released but then gaining control where you need that control so the way it's coming in here is that the more that you release control when it comes to the masculine, like what it is that you want, I mean, this control that we're talking about, it's energetic. It's not you literally controlling the masculine, okay? You can't do that even if you want it. You cannot control another person. But it's this energetic, um, it's, it's like a desire to want a particular outcome or to want things to happen in a particular way, um, getting triggered when it doesn't or getting triggered with certain events, that is what we mean. So the more that you are able to release that control, the more control you gain over your own life, which is helping you to heal both your material world as well as healing spiritually by doing your shadow work. That is actually part of the shadow work. So it's okay that you feel like you're back in this place because it's helping you to uncover more of your, of your ego or of what it is that has been holding you back. Where is it that there might still be some dependency? Where is it that you still want some comfort? from your masculine? Where is it that you still feel like you need the masculine to soothe you, even if it's at a subconscious level? And then that is being released. Okay, so that was that was a lot for the feminine, so let me just get a few more for the masculines and then maybe I'll clarify a few for the masculines because I do feel like it was more general. And also keep in mind that um, time is fluid, so this could be something that has that has already happened for you. It could be happening now, or it could be something that, that is coming up for you, okay? All of this, all of these energies. So we have the Two of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So we have two cards of balance here, right, with Justice and the Six of Pentacles. 
definitely, definitely, as I said before, that Three of Swords, that pain that they are feeling is in relation to the feminine. They are really feeling that pain. They're still very much connected to you on a soul level. I feel like, again, it feels like something may have happened between you and the masculine if you have been in contact. If not, maybe it's just on an energetic level, like maybe there are just things happening um, where it might feel like it's just done either for the masculine or, or for you, like feeling like this would just be impossible. That's, that, that's just how this is coming through here. But even if that is the case, even if it's you that is feeling that, no, that, that connection is still here. The masculine is still feeling this, this love and the connection with you, even if they are at the moment pulling back And again, again, I'm getting that this has to do with even this um, feeling stuck. It has to do with certain decisions that they've made or feeling like they either have pulled back or that they have not been giving you as much as you are giving them. They're really deep in, in that kind of an energy, in that kind of a space right now. And again, it's just at the moment, the masculine is holding back. Plain and simple is what I'm getting here. Holding back from their emotions. They're feeling the love though. They are aware of them. It's They're not in denial of it. They're not suppressing these feelings. No, these feelings are there. They're just not expressing them. So let me clarify a little bit. Let's see the three of swords. the Eight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, so here it is. There's, the love is there, the, the, the feelings are there, um, all of it. Wanting this happiness with you. Wanting to communicate that. Being heartbroken, it's not, for whatever reason, it's not happening at the moment. They're not communicating that. They're holding back on communication. But the communication that they're holding back is something that they're feeling deep inside, which is very, very beautiful. It's this Ten of Cups. Um, for a lot of them, it's also that they're feeling heartbroken, that there hasn't been movement, that they haven't made this offer to have this Ten of Cups with you that they know that they could have. And again, it's going to be for different reasons for, for each of them. To the Eight of Swords. Okay, the Six of Wands, the Three of Swords again, and the Tower. I'm telling you, they're going through something deep here. The Masculine is going through something very, very deep. They're going through something very, very difficult at the moment. I feel like it's more difficult than it has been before because this time they're really feeling the love for the Feminine. And actually, what's making them feel so constrained is the fact that they cannot express that. It's like they are aware of that. And it's not that they're feeling constrained by something else. No, it, it's some, like, a, you know, like a karmic situation. Could be that too. But what I'm getting here specifically is that they're feeling like they are restraining their own self from speaking to you. And I feel like it's a lot of fear about um, causing more pain causing more pain it, it like almost like feeling like that's going to cause them more pain or it's going to cause you more pain or it's going to cause the both of you more pain because now they're so aware of these feelings something is happening here i feel like they're going through a major major tower moment um a lot of this is also their ego it's i feel like there has been like a wall that has been put up by the masculine in order to protect their heart because they're feeling so much pain they don't want to they don't want to feel more pain and so they're feeling trapped in this but it's driving them absolutely crazy but it's it's like it's it's hard for me to explain it's like 
wanting, really wanting to, but then something holding them back for fear of if I talk, what if that just really blows things up? Like what if then there's no going back and um, then I have to face this truth? That could be one scenario. The other scenario is, yeah, what if that causes more pain because um, I get rejected? Or, because for a lot of them, they, a lot of the masculines are not afraid of rejection because it's clear that the feminine still wants them. It's that then there will be some other kind of pain. Okay, it's, it's going to be different. And for a lot of them, it's just a lot of ego here because of what has happened. And it's that they also need to forgive their own self. For me, justice can also be about forgiveness. So let me clarify justice. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that is good because this is showing that the masculine does want to change. And actually, whether they want to change or not, all right, this is definitely a divine intervention here of bringing justice and bringing a change. They are in the middle of a transformation. There is a major shift that is happening for them right now, and it's actually very, very painful. Let's see. Let's, let's just clarify this bottom row real quick. Yeah, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and Judgment. Definitely divine intervention, definitely a major transformation here, definitely seeing truth, definitely feeling, again, a lot of pain because of something that has happened, because of the way that they have treated you, because they feel like they have made things now, they have... Um, cause the, the connection between the two of you to be unequal, unbalanced, shaky. And because ego gets involved, it's like, well, how do you go back? How do you fix that? And they're thinking a lot about this. That drive is there. The passion is still there. They're thinking a lot about this. How can this change? But it's like, it doesn't matter if they're thinking about it, really. Because I feel like even if they're thinking about it, it's like it's happening. It's happening without them even realizing that it's happening. Endings are also taking place here. Possibly where in, in areas of their life where they were giving more attention than was necessary, which could have been for the purposes of numbing, for the purposes of distraction, for whatever. There's a lot of things where there was an imbalance that is coming to an end and that can also um, be contributing to this pain. They're holding back. I feel like for some of you, you might even, you might even be feeling some coldness, um, but they're holding back because there is a major transformation that is happening and it's too intense for them to be able to deal with it. Coming forward and bringing you this offer would, would cause them to feel even more shaken up. Almost like they're so close, but because it, it feels so real, it scares the shit out of them. As what that might lead to, like once the ball starts rolling, like, you know, then what? So, yeah, I feel like I feel like those were pretty much the messages that wanted to come through. Let's just see what is coming up in the very near future. So next couple of weeks or so. So for the masculines here, we have the two of pentacles, the high priestess, and the Two of Swords. All right, so a lot of intuition coming into play here. A lot of, again, I feel like it's going to be um, a stormy time for them, trying to really find their balance, trying to find their grounding. 
I feel like the masculine might still feel a little distant here with the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. Know that it's because they're going through a lot at the moment. There's a lot that's going on for them, which is in some way related also to you. It might not be directly related to you, but indirectly on a spiritual level or on a, or on a soul level, it is. Okay, so yes, there might still be some hesitancy here that you might pick up from them, but know that they are following their guidance, all right, overall. In the overall scheme of things, they are following their guidance here. They are listening to their higher self. They just need to be quiet about it at the moment as they work through whatever it is that they're working through. So I'm going to leave that at that, and let's just get a couple of oracle cards to close this out. Any final messages for the feminines? All right, so we have here and now, and we have fork in the road. Okay, so this is asking you to really focus on the here and now. Don't worry about what is going to happen in the future in the or what happened in the past when it comes to you possibly feeling like you're going back and forth. Um, between places you've been, already been in the past and where you thought you were heading, where you thought you were. Focus just on the here and now and on the decisions that you yourself need to make. Okay, because I do feel like, um, I mean, I know definitely this is true for me, but just even um, judging from some of your, some of your emails for the personal readings, a lot of the feminines are in a similar position at the moment as well as I am. So having to make a particular decision um, having to figure something out, feeling like you're in a fork in the road, okay? Focus on your own issue here. So let's, uh, let me get one more actually, see if we can get something more specific to the masculines. Because I don't feel like that was for the masculines at all. That was for the feminines. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? A change in the wind, exactly what I was just saying, major transformation, things are changing right now and it is not easy, it is not easy at all for them, whatever change that they are going through. Again, it's going to be different for, for each of them. So I'm going to leave it at that and yeah, I hope this resonated for some of you. Definitely let me know if it did and I will talk to you guys soon and sending you much love. Bye.